Hello, hello everyone. Stream is starting. How's everyone today? Everyone's well. Just finishing setting some stuff up. Some of which I'm kind of excited for. Because I might lose a lot of money. We'll see. <laughs> but I have an idea. I think it's going to work well, and y'all will get to see me do it. Little hint, I've already talked about it on stream. It's not this stream. Well, I mean, I just started, but yeah. For anyone who doesn't know me, I'm Black Cat. I am a small little kitty who likes to play dungeon crawlers and sandbox games. Sometimes zombie games. I mainly play, play there. God, I mainly play Path of Exile, but I also like to do Power World. I'm going to be doing some Seven Days to Die at some point. Be fun. And Seven Days to Die is coming out with its official release after like 12 years uh, sometime this month, so that's pretty exciting. Definitely something like we're going to play with, but we'll get to that later. And by later, I mean we'll get to that when it actually comes out, because it's still no release date. I have some plans for today. Let's see. The best way is of displaying those plans. I'm not... I've never done what I'm about to do before, so we'll see. See if this makes sense. Oh. There is. First, a fucking bag. Not gonna bite. Big. Better. It's not going to be here forever. I'm going to display it here for. Because I want. Actually, play some. Visual for it, it will make it weird. Sure, let's pretend that that's good. One day I'm going to do this in like a really cool professional way, but for now. Not. 
Ow. Bit of a clusterfuck. Uh, yep. right. yeah. Okay. Testing with some text. Oh god! <laughs> That's a bit big. Oh no. I don't know if it's live what I'm doing. I think there's a way to do that, but I don't. You do not, Ariel, please. My favorite opens. Open Sans, when an Undertale character has an open heart search. Okay, I need 30. What are the de oh god, what are the default sizes? That graphic design. Wow. Oh, that does change dynamically. Oh, cool. So I'm uh, making a little agenda right now for what I want to do today. Show it off. So I'm going to start with a warm-up. Be warming up with some maps. And then we're going to start practicing the uh, Tier 17 maps. Probably starting with Ziggurat. Ron. How are you? No, I do. I do. There we go. So my warm up as always. I'm glad that you get to relax and watch. Always glad to have you here. So we're going to warm up as always. We're going to start working on practicing Ziggurat because I haven't beaten Ziggurat uh, so far of uh, things that I've beaten for seven. I have Elimination.
Abomination. Yeah, it's the all. Uh, Chris. Have sanctuary. Right. One of these things I've beaten. Don't remember which one of these. But I've beaten one of one of those maps. To check really quick because I always forget which map it is. Still very, still very foggy on the new T seventeen. Or well, no, Lake. Here, seventeen map. Okay. I know it's not abomination. Citadel is the nightmare of Uhtred. That is, I think that's the one. Yeah, Verana. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So I've beaten Citadel. Uh, all of yep, the expensive one. The right one, right? Okay. So, should we actually start with the one that we do already know? Maybe it'd be smarter to start with Abomination. Oh, I don't worry. There we go. Now you can actually see what I'm... Um... I think it might be worth it to have a... Like, actual section on the screen that is not covered by things. That's not covered by gameplay. Like, a little bit of extra area, because, like, I mean, my head already takes a bunch. Head takes up a bunch, the chat takes up a bunch. YouTube advertisement at the bottom of my screen takes up a bunch. And now the agenda's taking up some. Might make more sense. Change up how that works. That's not a today thing, though. That is a not now thing. So let's throw some just random maps in. Try to find ones that I actually hate. No, I don't need <laughs> no can't regen maps, please. Make a bar that scrolls across the bottom like an I find those super obnoxious.
There we go. Have I done anything interesting last time? I don't think I've changed anything. Oh, I have all haste now, which is nice. Good to see. Good to see that there. Still running Decoy Totem and Vol Grace. Anything else has changed? Okay. Oh, I got a bunch of uh, omens though now. Got a ton of omens of death dance and still have some death store that I plan to. Of course, we are going to grab some scarabs because I fucking use my scarabs. Because of that, I have this many. That is too many. Let's just use all my Harbinger Scarabs. Why not? I don't farm Harbinger. Er. Harbinger. Version Diffusings. No. I'm good. XP. Up. He's like actually not dangerous. Not particularly dangerous. Asters so that no matter what. Modifier, keep it there. Sure. Putting some of the the less pleasant modifiers up because it means that I will get more embers and stuff and I have a method where I'm going to use a lot of embers very soon so we shall see those see if we get anything interesting because I just I mean I've never done all of holy harbinger Never done this many harb I've never done all the harbingers carols before together. Oh, there's there's the big big harbingers there. And all the babies. What do you call a group of harbingers? Like where for a crow it's a murder. For cows it's a herd. Kittens it's a litter. An herb. <laughs> because it sounds stupid. Ah. Got that. Oh, I probably shouldn't have gotten rid of... So I picked the scare that gives us... Uh... Pick the scarab that makes it so you only get one type of, of shard, and all like all the shards are that one type from uh, each harbinger, like has one type. This one apparently was transmutation shards. Actually, a couple of them look like they're transmutation shards. It also means that if you get like a harbinger with ancient shards or something like that, you'll get all of that. So if you get one with chaos shards, you might get an entire chaos orb. Wait.
notification. Can be good. I know this can be good. I just don't see. I guess all they can do is give you a chance. It's not like they're going to give you something amazing each time for scarabs. Otherwise, everyone would be running them. I look forward to putting out a video on the gamble, assuming that it goes well. Obviously not going to put out a video if it goes poorly, because no one will care. I guess I might as well tell you what the actual gamble is. And also I'm going to take the to-do. The gamble itself is... I have gotten about 200 tattoos. Game, which, if I don't know if you know, but uh, those who aren't familiar, you can replace small passives with uh, tattoos, which give you like tiny bonuses. And I've bought a bunch of them. They're about a chaos apiece. And if you put three of them together in, in a crafting menu, or crafting menu, in a uh, vendor menu, if you try to vendor three at a time, or like multiples of three, I guess I should say, then they will change into different new tattoos. Tattoos that I bought are not very valuable, as you would imagine, and we are going to see if the if rerolling those is going to make us anything interesting. Because there are tattoos that are worth a lot of money. So we'll see if uh, if the two hundred and something C that I spent. It's been a couple div. The other couple div I spent uh, actually ends up being worth anything. I didn't want to do it on, like, too massive a scale in case it's just, like, an absolute waste of time. But we'll see. Because we tried this last stream just, like, on... Or, it was a stream before last. On just, like, a few random tattoos that I had laying around. And I noticed that... I actually managed to make a couple, like, valuable things out of those tattoos. To the point that I'm, they suddenly became much, much more valuable than they otherwise were. It's like my pile of tattoos that were otherwise unused and pointless. And there's a lot of them on the market, so... If it's as simple enough as... Just vend like buy a ton and vendor them all, then it might work. And you might think like, well, okay, if no one's doing that, then it's probably not worth doing. Uh, which makes sense, except for the fact that last league, the last league or the league before, it was last league. I I can't verify it, but I think. My video contributed to crashing the catalyst prices in the game because we tried uh, doing a bunch of gambles with catalysts and we found that we actually could make a large, large amount of money very reliably by gambling catalysts into more valuable catalysts. And I mean, no one was doing it. It was just there was thousands of catalysts that were on really fucking cheap that no one was buying. Sometimes these little mechanics get forgotten. Also, the later into a league you go, the the uh, 
less value these things have. The like really cheap ta a ta did I, have I been saying talismans? Tattoos. The really cheap, really cheap tattoos tend to be devalued over time. So theoretically, now that time has passed, there will be more available, and the concept is more likely to. Out of the two hundred that I got, I only need like. Six valuable tattoos. So, it's not like I need much of a return to actually validate my uh, expenditure, I guess. So I'm hoping that that will work out. We'll, we'll see how well the tattoo thing works, but I'm kind of excited to try it out. See if we can find something. Rare item. Oh, this jewel. Got all the pussy in here. Oh, it would really help if I remember to turn the music back on. That'd be really nice. Hello, Han. What time changed? If you're talking about the uh, poll about if we should move the stream, I'm still waiting on results on that. Nothing's changed. Oh, Hobbin does. Well, I might start at uh, 2.30 again at some We'll see. Currently, there is a uh, poll on the Discord server. Oh, there we go. Poll on the Discord server and a poll on the YouTube channel about whether people would like to have a earlier, or sorry, at the um, this current time or a later time for streams. Uh, if the options are basically this time, 30 minutes later, or an hour later. If you have any thoughts on that, feel free to mention them in the VOD comments, and I will take those into account when looking at the polls. Trying to find like the sweet spot of when's the best time that people are around and when I'm best around and you know. Not a guy. That's why I put rarity on the abyss. Getting cool abyss gems. Whoa! Let's be nice. Harbingers. That is your real name. We got got almost four ancient orbs from that. That's cool. 
Oh, about Caleb. Caleb, thank you for your your follow. Welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy it. God damn auto mod. T17s is not a sex based term. Stop saying that. Twenty, you got another or one of your messages blocked. <laughs> Yes, I intend to thoroughly abuse the Scarab of Stability to get 14, uh, 14 of 6 portals. I didn't actually... I, I put out the video yesterday of what... Uh, of that particular map where we got really, really lucky with how many portals we got. And I, uh, so if anyone wants to tell me how many portals we actually use, I don't have time to check, but, like, it looked like a lot. Uh... Okay, well, I, I guess, I guess Twitch already knew your kinks. That doesn't really surprise me too much. Amazon has always, uh, liked to collect information about us. Oh, oh, what was that? That was a new status effect. <laughs> you know, the uh, awesome drop sound of like, hey, you got like a divine orb or whatever. I could actually use that as my uh, sub noise when I can uh, get subscribers. Because that's not that far away. I'll be able to get subscribers soon. I just need uh, more average viewership, which is one of the reasons why I'm considering moving my streams later. Because I'm trying to find the time when people are around and therefore are watching stream. Because people seem to be watching a bit later. Uh, like, people tend to jump in long after, like not long after, but like a little bit after we've started playing. Just to uh, reiterate quickly, so this is our to-do list here, or our agenda of uh, what we're going to be working on today. Apparently we're just warming up. So we're going to be practicing uh, Abomination specifically, because I want to beat Abomination. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a really awkward thing trying to find like the right times. Especially if I want the stream to go on for, like, a few hours, because I don't want it to go, like, way too late, and then I just don't fucking go to bed until, like, 3 in the morning, because I'm just too pumped from the stream. The problem. I guess I could technically try doing a little bit earlier for people, but most streamers tend to stream uh, during the day, like the like professional streamers. So I have if I stream 
if I stream more during, like, the, uh, uh, NA day, then I'm gonna have to be competing with the guns. And I obviously can't do that. But a small kitty. And yeah, well, the league is is more or less ended for most people. There, this is kind of the time where you get to try to do f like weird fucky stuff. Now that people have gotten a ton, like a ton of money, and don't really have anything anywhere to spend it, they're more willing to. Wasted on just random shit. Testing stuff. Which is what I intend to do today. Because I have some gambling I'm going to be doing. I mentioned it a little bit earlier, but I'm going to be uh, gambling... Uh, I'm going to try gambling tattoos, specifically. Because I feel like there is something there where we could actually make some money. So I bought like a little over 200 chaos worth of tattoos. And we are going to throw them all into the vendor and see what we get back. Because we only need like, we only need f five or six good tattoos. And that will be enough to pay back all 200 that we put in. Yellow juice? I'm sure what you mean by yellow juice. I miss an entire section of the map. This juice? Oh, I think people are are doing are farming a lot of harvest. Is that what you're referencing? I'm bad about like I don't really watch other PoE uh, YouTubers slash streamers pretty much ever. The only ones I really watch are uh, smaller ones like uh, who else is it? Uh, I've watched a bunch of uh, Cheddar's content. C H E A D or I Z, I think. And a bunch of. Uh... Wish I had my, my stuff in front of me. I, I tend to watch YouTubers and streamers that have under 100 viewers or under 100 followers or subscribers. For the most part, when it comes to the content. That's my pile of tattoos we're going to be... Oh, it's hidden by the to-do list! <laughs> Oh, did I never show the to-do list? I don't think I did, because I think it was on the preview only. Okay, this is the to-do list. I'm trying this again. So we're just finishing our warm-up, and then we're going to jump into uh, practicing Abomination, and we're going to be doing some gambling with tattoos a little bit later. So far, we've uh, beaten Citadel, but not the other four. So we're going to be practicing Abomination first, because... First letter, first letter in the alphabet. Want Catalyst.
Uh, wait, there's a challenge for it? That doesn't surprise me. You can say T17 now. I, I have let it through the filters. I think. And if it's not, I will, I will correct that. Yeah, it's working now. I wonder what it thinks it's blocking. I am going to assume it's like some weird fucking pedophile shit. Being up the, there's the number 17 there. Oh god, maybe it means teen 17. Ew. That's horrifying. Well, the, that's not what's going on. Oh, whatever. I don't think that's going to be a concern in this chat. Anyone's creepy, I will banhammer them into a billion. They are definitely hard. Not... Okay, I, I see the way you're phrasing this. You're playing a dangerous game, my friend. That is not... That is not an envelope you should be pushing. Any case, yes, they are very hard, which is why we're going to be practicing them. Okay, that's... Spot. Stop ball lightning ning 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 Yeah, usually more DPS does kind of fix a lot of problems, but... I'm going to try to learn the mechanics rather than trivialize them. Besides, it's just the Depraved Trinity. I've fought the Depraved Trinity over and over. There's no... There's no good reason to suggest that I can't fight them. Um, I'm not really sure what you mean. You mean, like, as your defenses? Because if so, that's awful. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see. I'm going to just check really quick. I take the the to-do list off of, again. Let's see. What is the... Okay, so... We're looking at an average of of 14,000 fizz max hit and 53,000 LE max hit on this character. And 50 oh and 57,000 uh, Chaos Max hit. So Chaos is... Chaos is actually the thing I'm most resistant, resistant against, apparently. It's funny. I don't know how that I managed to do that. Since I'm pretty sure my elemental resistance is higher.
Are you using? Do you have your? Do you have your essence or your flasks up all the time? That was the question. Because if you have them up all the time, then it's so it's the same as any piece of gear. But if they're not up all the time, then that is a risk you're definitely taking. That's a little bit less squishy. I imagine you probably struggle a lot with Abomination specifically, right? Because they have a bunch of Fizz spells that are dangerous. Specifically Dodre. Oh, Brandis. Yeah, with the tier 17s, you can you can make a lot of other a lot of stuff in them easier by changing out the monsters that are in the map, but the boss you cannot do anything about really. Like you're going to fight the boss as the boss. So if you don't have your full defenses for it, you are in trouble. Bye, Arakali. Oh. Apparently she needs to do her phase before she comes back up and dies in front of me. That's fair. I'm usually look at the lantern. Oh. Oh cool. I didn't realize I was gonna get my incandescent. I usually look at the uh lantern because I want to move the uh higher tier modifiers up so that I get more that I get more embers and stuff dropping. Okay, I'm getting impatient. This is enough. This is enough warming. How much is the Pandas then? 29 CF. Ever's unification. That is a shitty, shitty roll on on Elliot Chaos. Nope. Hoping to get uh, max power charge on it. Yeah, okay, taking on the boat. So, we are <sighs> so high crit, burning ground, hell. I don't like that. 8% of max life as extra energy shield would be terrifying as the boss. No, no spell suppression. That boss is accompanied by a synthesis boss. Oh god, players can't game. Oh, that's that's awful. <laughs> no. No. Monsters fire four additional. That's fucking awful. Okay, that's that's at least doable. Vikings Desolation. Ave interferes with the player. Totems take hits. Wait, totems damage uh 
15% of damage players totems take from hits is taken from the summoner's life instead. That's not too bad, because my decoy totem that is a bit rough. No meteors. Also, how barrels. I can do this one. That one's very doable. Really don't want enfeeble or possessed. Oh, here it contains petrification statues. Oh, great! Players have oh god, players have less defenses. These modifiers are awful. All magic and normal monsters in the area are a, are in a union of souls. Ugh. Most of volatile cores or monsters area are shaper touched. Sure. Oh, you're right. I am curse immune. I forgot. Wow. Okay. That actually that changes a lot then. Completely forgot about that. The more monster health sucks not to do that. That's doable. Yeah, these are all doable now. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna abuse the scare of stability. What else can I use? Oh, monster packs in areas are at least magic. That's probably expensive, isn't it? Oh, wow, that's actually an expensive scarab. London. That's good. Let's do. This is, okay, what does it actually do? Increase rarity drop by slant enemies. Damage reduction. Okay. I think that's good. I don't know if there's anything else. I guess maps. Extra maps drop. Or div card. Or unique. Sure. Okay, scare of stability, scare radiant storm, photography. So this will this will give me some quantum damage reduction. Uh, this will give me a chance not to use scare, not to use the portals when I uh, use portals. More maps, maps finder higher higher tier. Go to my tier seventeen list. So this has back to basics on. So no masters, no extra content. Uh, there's the ability for stuff to drop from Kirak, and for Scarabs to drop. There's still Lantern stuff. Uh, 
That is it. Is all that this is. I don't want my apps to be. Bad. Okay. Isn't explicit modifier effect just strictly bad? Like, I don't... I've never understood the point of that. Okay, so just looking at this map... If I have 80% more explicit modifier effect, does that not mean that, that the monsters would have f plus 45% chaos res instead of plus 25? Like, doesn't, like, I, I don't see how that doesn't, I don't see how that does anything besides make the map harder for no reason. I guess that's fair, but I don't know how much more dangerous I want to make the tier 17s. Like, they're already pretty dangerous. I don't know if it's worth it. I've already, I already struggle with this. Well, I mean, I guess I could just try it and see what happens. Kill some scarabs. Ambush, cartography, relic. What else I can cut? Cut those. Or why not? Okay. Oh, so you can increase it. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, the point I'm blocking content with Back to Basics is that I don't have to deal with extra content in the map. Because that stuff will just fucking kill me. Like, I don't want to see June in the maps, for example. I don't want to see Einhar in the maps. I'd, like, that would be really bad. I don't want to see Exiles in the maps, or Harbingers, or basically anything. Yeah, I know that's the intention, is I'm trying to get rid of all the extra content, so it's just the map itself. The idea is to make the map easier. Not to, like, make it as hard as possible. <laughs> oh, the reason why I have st uh, of, uh, points... Uh, the reason why I have points in blocking content is so that I can set up which types of scarabs I get. Because I have a lot of bonuses to scarabs, specifically. And I'm trying to get, 
I'm trying to get harvest scarabs mainly. I don't actually want ritual scarabs. Fuck that. Uh, I'm basically trying to tailor which scarabs I specifically get. That's why I'm also not blocking uh, straight and narrow, because there's no scarabs that come from uh, the high stuff. I want all the scarabs that drop to be either ambush, domination, harvest, or reliquary. Because those will all those will all have like really really big boosts or divination. Hopefully, that will help. Anyways, this is the map that we're going to be going with for now. Or the Atlas Passive Tree. We'll run, start running this map. The stability, cartography, cartography of ascension, storms. Why? I'm his wrong base type. What's going on? That's fair, but, I mean, the only reason I'm using Back to Basics is to block it, and I'm just trying to make block everything, and that's just to try to make everything easy. I don't know if it's, if it's the best method, but it's the method I'm using. Okay, now, what is, what is going on here is the next question. Because I have scarabs? Oh, it's a Radiant Storm specifically is causing problems. That that must be extra content. Okay. Well, I'm going to spread out my Harvey Scarabs then. Why not? Yeah, I guess it considers the Resplendent Tempest to be part of Alva's stuff, even though it's not really giving that. It's weird, because, like, there's certain content it doesn't block, like, dom like Divination and Cartography. Because it doesn't consider that content for whatever reason. So, whatever. <laughs> Drop times of rarity are converted to scarabs. That actually is, like, really good. <laughs> I'd like to use that if I could, but... Anyways, let's kill off all of the even remotely dangerous things that can spawn in the map. Replacing them. Less dangerous things. Okay, drop on his rarity. Um... Should I throw a random or a random anarchy scarab? Not scarab, a uh, thing up there or not? No, I'm I'm just gonna let it go. We'll we'll see what happens. I seem to have actually run out of the right level of anarchy too, which is a problem. But... Okay, well, we're just going to have to hope that things don't go too badly.
Oh wow, there's a lot of demons there with the stuff. Okay, whatever, we're just gonna hope that this actually is decent. Okay. First tier 17 abomination. We have volatile cores, which we need to be concerned about. The everything is shape or touch, so we have to be careful, and that's the main thing. That's a lot of quantum rarity, holy shit. Hoping that the fact that I replaced all the things with embers means that I won't be in much danger. Not right, apparently. <laughs> oh, I guess I don't need in their own. I'll just be more careful. I did not even see that shaper. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, thank you for doing work. Fear of stability. Okay, this is the third portal I've used now. I... I'm really struggling. Fourth portal. Maybe putting Shaper Touched on this for fun was a bad idea. Oh, Union of Souls is rough. No, I'm good. This is fun. I appreciate it, though. Very nice of you. Rare in there. Somewhere. Eventually, I'll slowly wade my way through. Nope. Nope. Yo. Yo. No. 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 I haven't seen the core come at me yet, which means it's still alive. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, uh, my fifth portal, I think. Man, it's a good thing that I have the Scarab of Stability, or I would be in so much more trouble. Oh god, that's a really, really big creature. Sure, if you want to come around the corner and get blown up, that's fine. Oh. Okay, well, the conversion... I see the conversion does not respect what I have told it not to... what scarabs are blocked. Oh no, I don't like that.
It's ironic, the, uh... Wildwood stuff has become a lot less dangerous to me. But... The... The sulfite stuff is really dangerous, on the other hand. Because it's all, like, physical damage spells. God, everything is so big! Why must everything be so big? It must be Union of Souls doing that. Everything is so engorged. Oh boy. Here somewhere. The rare somewhere. Nope. Yep, it's over there. Gonna take a wide wild guess and say it's over there. Where the death came from. Eleventh portal, I think. I might be going the wrong way to, to actually find the boss room, but... Okay, hold on. Do I have to die now? I think there's two rares there is the problem. Means two shaper. No, you don't. All right, one of the rares is down. Got the volatile core. Another rare is coming in there. One of these things, probably. I shouldn't have stopped moving. That was totally my fault. <laughs> Portal 8, I think. There's, there's the rare. Wondering where that is the entire time. No, I can't be worrying about that right now. I need to kill the rare. <laughs> that has to be dealt with first. Just die. Okay. But everything's huge! I thought that if I converted all the creatures that I wouldn't feel like I was in much danger. But I feel like I'm in much danger. Rare somewhere. There you are. Rares down. I actually kind of like having the volatile cores because it it tells me for sure whether the rare is down without actually having to see the rare itself. Oh my gosh, there's so many things. They're so tanky! Angel of Toughness, you don't say. Certainly feels like it has toughness. Oh no. Ah, fluff. Portal 9?
Oh, I guess I can count how many times I've entered the area. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was eight. On my eighth life. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're crit resistant. That's why you suck. Good thing you're just not moving. That would be really hard. I like all these new modifiers, it's really cool. Like, having all these giant creatures to fight's fun. Nope! Where's the rare? Nope! Ooh. I saw that charging just in time. Okay, where is the actual rare, though? Did I, did I kill it? No, I didn't see a... I didn't see a volatile I didn't kill it. Letting myself tank a lot the creatures a lot more because I feel like the actual dangerous part of this is not the creatures, it's the shaper. So I'm focusing less on actually defending myself against the creatures and focusing more on making sure there's no shaper nearby. I just hope that the boss doesn't spawn shapers. That would really suck. I don't know how I would deal with that problem. No. No blood bomb. And for 300 quant... Really not... Well, I guess, no, we did see some some interesting scarabs drop. And some things. So there's nothing. Doesn't feel like there's very much, but it's probably just because everything's hidden. Oh my gosh, you are... Big little... There's no shaper. I, I fucking see there's a shaper in the file. Hard to see through my attacks what is where. No. You can get a 100% increased amount of scarabs on the map? Huh. It's an interesting modifier. Yeah, I haven't seen most of the new ones yet, so that's interesting. Can you naturally roll, like, the quant as rarity mods, too? Or are those something you can only get from Kirok? Ow. I should have taken that one more carefully. Number nine. Holy shit, this map is so big. Maybe I shouldn't have that portal right there.
did. Oh, that's Aced and wild and power. That's rough. Right, ten. I might have picked a too nasty a set of mods myself. But honestly, I just wanted to see what it did. Like, I know I have know of Union of Souls, but, like, I've never seen an entire map with Union of Souls, so it sounded kind of cool. I, I think in the future I will, I will stay away from it. Probably are obvious. <laughs> That's one. Without disciples, loaded. Hang on. Oh, I got another stability. I need those. I mean, they're not that expensive, but still nice to get more. Naturally farm. Oh, gosh. Not these guys again. Gemling. Sounds rough, whatever that. I'm going to start eating these corn. Take them. I'm fighting the urge to run away from the flowers on the ground. Because that used to be, like, super dangerous for me. But on this build now, it's actually the least dangerous ability they have. Because my Chaos Max hit is so high now. Ah! I got rid of, rid of one of the rest. Okay, this should be a left. Oh gosh. As long as I'm not standing on a corpse, I'm There we go. Ours aren't dangerous to me. They do cover up other things, which is kind of concerning. But, eh. I need to learn how to better use my D. I don't really use it very much because I'm not used. To it. Oh, my God, that's a big thing.
No blood bomb. Imagine a Soul Eater mob with this Union of Souls stuff going on. That would be crazy looking. Oh my god, look at that! It's so big! Everything is so huge! <laughs> that is really cool. It feels like I'm fighting a race of giants. Oh my god! Look at that one! Decoy totem over there. If I can distract it a little bit. Focus some of their energy onto it. Ooh! So big. It is kind of fun felling giants. Oh my god, it's so big. Oh, okay, there's right there. Uh, 15 minute maps? Is that what you're trying to say? Because if you're saying that I'm taking a long time, yes, I'm definitely taking a long time, I'm aware. I don't want to pretend that I'm good enough at this game to just steamroll this content. This content is very hard for me. Yeah. I don't regret trying it once. I won't probably won't be doing it again. At least on the stream. Ah, fuck. I think those things have physical attacks. Which would explain why that was so dangerous. So it was. It was physical melee, so I guess I dodged and rock for that, which sucks. But... Try to take out as much as I can that's on the edge. Edge of my vision. I'm on the edge of if they're on the edge of my vision, they're on I'm on the edge of their vision too. Oh, okay. I was being too complacent. I thought I saw the the boss room. The boss room's over there. Okay, I should actually go to the boss room instead of the rest of the map. Because the rest of the map's going to be very slow. Oh boy.
Oh boy, big boys. Big, big, big. Big boys. Big boys. Oh my gosh, you're big. Imagine how big is penis much. You like the size of my torso. Oh, it's fire resistant. That's the problem. That's why this sucks so much. Oh my gosh, it's... It's slower than a normal map boss to kill one of these creatures. Fucking hell. Oh gosh. Kill Seraphim or... Let's be careful. Of what? They're hasted. That's bad. Very bad for me. Fuck now. So who thinks Shitstain Steve is going to reach thirty depth thirty thousand? Wonder what they're what they're like searching for. How far are they intending to go? Still going, so Must have some sort of plan. Maybe they just really, really enjoy Delve. I mean, okay, you must enjoy Delve a lot if you're gonna get to depth thir like twenty eight thousand something. The Delve, the farthest of anyone else in the game. I think my record is like depth two hundred and fifty, <laughs> and that's no joke either. I imagine, like, depth 20,000 and depth, like, 28,000 probably don't feel any different. Because no matter what it is, like, any creature, if it looks at you, you die. You have to off-screen all of them. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> oh. Am I, am I getting close? Am I getting close yet? To being able to walk to the boss room? I can see the boss room, I just need to clear the things out that are in front of it. Yeah, I feel some regret for trying Union of Souls on stream. Had I realized it would be like this, I probably wouldn't have, uh... Probably wouldn't have done this. Just... I don't mind slowly working away at something on my own, but... I don't want to waste y'all's time. Ah.
Okay, let's not die in front of the boss room. Really unfortunate. No! Rare over there. I guess I would rather know that than not know that. Ah, shit. Okay, I think portal 14. Oh, gosh. There's still... Oh, gosh. I left stuff here. Why'd I leave stuff here? Oh, I probably died and left it here, if I were to guess. That would explain why it's still here. Okay. I'm going to go around. That down there. Okay, is there rare like right here? I think m what might have killed me that last time was I killed the rare and then I couldn't see the volatile core underneath everything that was happening. Okay, I can do the I can do the boss room now. Yay! Okay, 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 we can do this. We can do this. Here 17 abomination. Boss room. Don't actually. Wait, what? I just killed Malagaro. Why are these so squishy now? I think this is like the 14th portal. Shouldn't be sending one place. That's that's dumb. Oh, and we're out. Damn it. Okay. Okay. That was... That was a bit of a mess. That was a bit of a mess. <laughs> no, I don't have much else to add to that. That was a bit of a mess. Ugh. Okay, well, I am put a bunch of it away. Maybe because I'm farming this without extra content, but that was not incredibly rewarding. Almost certainly because I've been farming without extra content. I don't want to see what some of these creatures are, because they seem kind of cool, but I also don't want to get absolutely destroyed by them, is the other problem.
Uh, I'm gonna hope that none of these are so dangerous that I'm going to have a problem. Okay, let's see how this one goes. Okay, tier 17 abomination. This one looks a little bit less scary and has more quant. Eesh, they have a lot of elemental resistance. Ah, we'll see what happens. Probably be a lot less scary this time, being that... Oh, actually, that thing has, like, seven mods on it, so maybe this is a bit scary. Okay. Oh, wow, that's a lot of shit it dropped. I guess I did, did pick something with very high quant, so... No, that's a bit in the middle of everything. Let's not do that. That's getting a bit off. You are an awful, awful creature, and you need to die. Wow, the rares are certainly dropping a lot of stuff now. These rares aren't as awful as the last ones. Mainly because they don't have Shaper on them, and they don't have Union of Souls, and they don't have just everything. Actually, I don't think they had a Union of Souls last time. I think it was only magic ones. Okay. I need to be aware of that attack, apparently. Portal 2. Okay. Put we totem back there. Another one. Wait that. Always crits, that's scary. He's the murder smith. Don't murder smith. He's such a nice guy. God, they have like eight mods. That's terrifying. Certainly gives them a lot of shit, though. Holy shit. I'm gonna drop a lot of stuff now. This one should be a lot easier. A lot of the challenge is going to depend on what rare mod combinations we get, because certain monsters we get are going to be, like, super, super boosted because of having like eight mods on them and those ones are going to be the ones that will be the most dangerous as long as we keep an eye out for those ones should be fine i just hope that we don't encounter any that are unkillable by our build 
Because, like, we won't be able... Like, not ever. There isn't... There are things in this game that we cannot kill. I need to remember to stay to the outside so I can get the... Oh, the void. Okay, let's clear that out so it's away. Oops. That was, that was totally my fault. 100%. Every time I kill a rare, there's a volatile core. I know that. Shouldn't be getting surprised by those. Same with the last map, too. I'm familiar with what's going on, so it shouldn't be a surprise. Alright, let's go over there. Whatever that is, is okay. Alright. Nice. Am I going to get a core from the... Oh, yeah, you get a core from the apparitions, too. Not just from the actual... Oh my gosh, I already have so much shit in my inventory. Uh... Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to have to come back and pick up stuff. Next time I die. That's probably the best plan. There's no point going back now and wasting a but I'm probably just going to die and go back anyways. How many mods is that? Is that eight mods? I think those have those rares have eight mods on them. That's terrifying. I can't pick this up yet. Okay, focus on that, please. Thank you. What is that? I don't recognize that. The ephemeral bond. Oh, this one. Oh, it rolled perfect lightning damage per charge. And also rolled perfect elemental res. But below average crit moment. Okay, it might, it might still be worth something. There's this one. Life region. Okay. Four. Oh! Even the little ghosty goos create a core, too. That's scary. Oh, 
Okay. God, some of these things are just like I usually can can take a quick glance at the mods and read the ones on the creatures I'm fighting if they actually are presenting enough of an issue that I can have time to read them. But I just can't process all of what's on well what's all the mods that are on these things because it's just so many. Way too many for me to process at once. Littering. Nope. Nope. much shit in my inventory. I don't want to die, but if I died, it, there would, it would make certain things easier. So I'm definitely not going back on my own. Not when each portal is so precious. It's gonna be this... Okay. Whoa, that one was scary. I'm just going to avoid moving my portal until I die because. All the stuff I want to pick up is along the path of my portal currently. Make sure that I don't it'll make sure that I don't forget that way. Oh, that's hasted. That's scary. Hasted and enrages. That's also scary. It's got Soul Eater. That's also 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 scary. What? It's attacking really fast. And you know what Soul Eater has now? It has you lose stacks over time. Means... Oh, let's wait for him to get smaller again. There we go. Okay. Very again. I might have to fight this one. Uh, yeah, go after the, the thing now. Go after my decoy toad. It's summoning creatures and it has Soul Eater. That's really evil. Soul Eater, Hasted, Lightning Resistance, Energy Shield, or Periodically Enrages, Life Cannot Be Leached, Summons Undead, Vivid Empowered. Eesh, Gemling Haunted. My gosh! Just die! Please just die! Holy shit. Oh no, and this is the opposite. This one's just resistant to everything. Why am I getting so many uniques this map? Special about this map? There must be. Otherwise, I wouldn't be getting this many. Currency, more maps, maps, pack size. No, nope, there's nothing listed on there that increases uniques. I just quant. Could just be the quant. I 
I ended up ended up running really far away from where I was. I was trying to get away from that guy. Shit. Okay, well, I can, there's only so much map, so I will see, I swear, I'm going to see the, um, the boss room soon. Can't not. Be stunned, hasted. Of other crap. I'm Ling. Okay. That thing. Okay. That's it's scary. Oh, it gains charges. No. Oh, it gains frenzy charges and random charges. Eesh. I don't like that. Oh, leaf fluff. Oh my gosh, you finally managed the boss room. Okay. Else gonna be pain? I think I've cleared enough area that I can actually do things. Okay, let's try this again. Abomination boss practice. I don't actually know who I should be focusing. But I I assume Dodre? Probably the most dangerous. I mean, classically, it probably would be Malagaro because of Chaos, but Chaos isn't that scary to me. And I'm pretty decent when it comes to elemental resistances, too, so... Davron's not that bad. As long as I keep moving in a circle, I think I'm fine. Circle strafes, 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 strafes. Uh, oh, fuck, they get healed. They get healed when he dies. Okay, so damaging them each doesn't matter. We, I want to focus one. Because all the damage gets reset. Okay, well, Dodre is currently not... Currently damageable, so that's nice. Actually, here, I can just stand in the chaos cloud. That's not dangerous. That's worth noting. Damn it, Chevron's up in the air. Ah, I should have sat in that. Oops. Get rid of all this crap. Gosh, we've got so much stuff, and like, there's another basically entire inventory is worth on the way to the boss fight waiting. I 
think I've used up my omen already. Sure. But I'm going to try putting Death Dancing. Let's see what happens. Okay, Portal, I don't know how many. Time to go pick every all the <laughs> My gosh. Baby in the background. By a baby, I mean a pug. You know, you were already taken care of. I've given you. She's too disruptive. I'll have to send her up to bed. You're too cranky. To be fair, she is quite old, so spends a lot of time needing. Actually, we're gonna learn something different. My gosh, there's so much shit on the ground. Oh my gosh, my inventory is full again! Okay, well, let's kill whatever's creating that shield over there. Oh boy, that's dangerous. Temporal shields, extra crit, crit resistant, someone's undead, uh, cold resistant, chaos resistant. Extra projectiles. Scary. I'm just going to pop everything for a second and see. I'm close to it. Am I in danger? Oh. Yeah, I mean, it might shotgun me with projectiles, which could be dangerous. Don't really want that to happen. It's kind of hitting the wall with most of its projectiles right now. There we go. Okay, I can't pick up any more shit, so I have to just go. Oh my gosh, there's so much shit on the ground! Okay, let's see what we can do here. Decoy totem down first. See if I can take out Chavron specifically. Okay. And now they're all ephemeral. That's not scary at all. Remember, I have to watch things that aren't just the one with the health bar. I have to watch all of them. Whoa, okay, yeah, the physical projectiles got me again. Just like the last time we did this. Okay, so I have so far about two inventories full of, like, scarabs and maps and gems. <laughs> Ridiculous.
Okay, let's try again. I think Dodre is at like half health now. Oh, I need to move my portal. I forgot about that. All right, I can't just hit my Quicksilver because I'm using a Mage Blood. I always forget that. Not exactly used to having a Mage Blood. Not exactly easy to get items. Okay, let's do this. Wherever she is, there she is. I should... I need to stay away from her. I keep walking up to her, and that's not smart. That is straight up killing me. Oh, I once again forgot to move my portal. Darn it. After we finish this map, we're going to do some gambling. Where'd she go? I can tank just about everything else from everyone else. It's that one attack from her when I'm too close to her, that's the problem. Wait, where'd she go? Yep, I need to stay away from her. Oh, okay, I can't tank just about everything else. I can tank most everything else, but not everything. I need to move my fucking portal! <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. Now I actually have a portal in a reasonable and useful pod. Uh, this in this arena's getting really fucking busy. Nope. Nope. No. 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 Brutus. Chevron, why did you bring Brutus? You're not. I didn't say you could bring a plus one. Damn it. Don't bring your boyfriend. Fuck you. Okay, we're on to the second phase for the first time ever. Okay, I need to actually be using my skills. Oh, okay. Well, she's at 90% so far. Okay, I didn't use up my portal. Good. I have at least two more attempts. Being one of them. Put that decoy totem over there. Put it over there. Elsewhere. I don't know. I don't know if she'll pay any attention to the decoy totem. He's the boss. She might pay attention to it for a second, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how bosses work with that. Come on. I'm so close. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Reality fragment, blazing fragment. Oh, I can't, I can't believe that I actually finally did it.
Holy shit. Okay, well, this brings the Uber X-Arch, which is 35C. And this is a synthesized map, which is 10C. It's a reality fragment, which is 1.5 div. And this is a Minotaur map, which is about 5C. So, it's a little under 2 div, not including the rest of the, every, the two inventories worth of gems and uh, scarabs I brought back. Okay, we are going to take a really, really quick moment for a bathroom break, and then I'll be right back. I will li leave you to listen to the dulcet tones of outer tones. Here, back. Welcome back, everyone. Got a drink. Okay. Back to the game. Well, we're going to finish this map just because it's obvious. It's, 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 so this map is yielding a lot of stuff. We've already gotten two entire inventories full of maps, gems, and scarabs. So we're going to keep going a little bit longer on this map. Finish up what we have. And then after that, we are going right into the gambling of tattoos. Not wait to see if I actually can make money on that, because I have over 200 tattoos stored up to use gambling. Now let's see what these... Eight or nine mod monsters do. This wait, is that seven mods? That's seven mods not including the uh the uh lantern mod. Eight with the lantern. Tiny bit scary. Why did I not move out of the way? I I know, I know better than to think. <laughs> I know that fucking thing is there every time. Every time it's there. I know there is always a volatile core. There always is from every rare monster. It's gotten me like six times now <laughs> in this map. Oh, that's embarrassing. I don't have to blow myself up next time. Try that. I think that'll be a good change of pace. Okay, where am I? Uh, there's not a huge amount over here. Start from the eastern side over here, west. Back towards the bottom. Okay, so there are two rares here, meaning there's going to be two volatile cores at least. Oh, that's a, not a good set of... A bunch of extra damage and hasted and all of that shit going on there. That is really nasty. Extra fire damage, extra life, extra chaos damage... Tasted, physical resistance, crit resistant, extra life. It's not the worst thing I could have encountered, but it's pretty fucking close. No, the er the the one earlier that was like enrages soul eater and hasted was really bad. Okay, oh. Oh gosh. Okay, let's stay away from... Is she it? Huge boot. Take those. Quick 
Okay, let's decide clear. We have a section here. Be a little bit tiny bit, maybe a little bit more careful than I've been. Try that. Might might be sexy. It's like walking into the middle of it like this is a normal tier 16 map and it's not. 17. I don't like that. It's got accurate. I don't like that. Accurate's really dangerous for me. Well, evasion build. So are those giant balls of shit. Okay. Defeat rare monsters with at least four modifiers. Wait, was there something where I had to, like, do a bunch of that? Defeat at least fifth. At least 50 rare monsters with at least four modifiers. Fuck. Well, they certainly, certainly do meet the uh, qualifications, being that they have so many fucking mods. Okay, you're just gonna die now. You're gonna have to be okay with that. You. Oh. Her. Other core. Other core. There must have been a lot of rares in there to get that many cores. I don't know how I didn't notice them. They kind of just melted. It was weird for tier 17. Also, spamming random embers is definitely the way to go to make these maps easier. I don't like that. That seems a bit... Nope. Thank you. I do need to be careful. A good... Uh, good note to take... Note of? <laughs> I will note that note in my notebook. Or it is noteworthy. Oh, is this actually the end of the map here? Oh my gosh, my inventory is full again! Ah, uh, there's a little bit left. And that's... 338% quant is scary. I'm used to, like, 80%. I want the Parandus Coffin we got earlier. Right? The thing is, like, a lot of the stuff I'm picking up is actually worthwhile, though. Like, it's not like it's crap. Well, okay. Some of the, the sacrifices are crap. Can I put these together to another thing? No, I can't. Oh. 
Oop. My item level. So. Okay. Back we go. To what is probably our last portal. Okay, just a little bit more, and then we are again. What am I on anyway? I'm on my Uber filter. Extra danger, yeah, extra, extra damage to injured foes. Maybe I shouldn't be picking up the gem. I don't know. Maybe that's not worth it. Holy fuck, these are big, man. Okay. Well. It would seem that Abomination is now complete. Yay. Oh, not that. Okay, that's what's left on our... Uh, ...gambling, and then probably some others, tier 17. Got so many gems from that map. It's gonna be hard to, to actually go through all that crap. Actually, wait, I have a great shatter, actually that no. Actor valuable. Kind of. I can level. Arcanus brand. Sure, I can level that. Arctic armor. Nope. Nation, yep. Destructive link, maybe. Not really. Nope. I think when it's usually. Any dead valuable? I'll just be level. It'll be worth. It. I'm gonna grab them all and put them all into one big pile. Vendor them all at once. And that is not an efficient way to do this. That's okay. Because the object is not to be efficient, it is to get the, this fucking done. I don't have to do with it anymore. I'll replace that. Uh, fire? Yep. Oh, such a little power. Something. Smoke mine probably isn't more now. I think Holy Relic's now worth something. A lot of Holy Relic builds around this league for some reason. Which, I mean, is it looks cool. It's just... Altile Dead. Uh, Eyeball. Volcanic Fissure. Eh.
Okay, well that fixes that. Bundle them all at once now. Twenty percent. Roll the twenties in together. But the rest, I'm going to do them all. I want to make sure that all the 20s actually go through as 20. Okay, this is going to be super inefficient, and I don't care in the slightest. Because it gets it done. Okay, now it is time to tattoo gamble. So I talked about... So I talked about this the other day on... I don't think it was the last stream, I think it was the stream before that. That... I've always I've wondered if tattoos are worth gambling because I mean you get a lot of them and some tattoos are worth a lot of money. So, um why not try gambling them? I mean, they're only one C a piece. That makes it really easy. I need one more, or two. Where is it? Okay, I need... The there we are. Okay, so let's see if this works. We are going to gamble. That is 96 uh, 1C tattoos, and we're going to see if we can get anything out of it. And what we get is... Uh, nope. 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 Uh, probably not. We only need to get a few good ones. Apparently are worth about three APs. I'll put those aside. Those all. Oh, can red tattoos only become red tattoos? Oh, interesting. Okay, I didn't know that. No, I I put in only red tattoos and I got some blue ones out. The knockback one there. No, fire res. Might be worth a few. Yeah. Totem life. Not really. Okay. Let's see what else we have. By throwing all this in together and. Yeah. Okay, so we have a few extras. Oh, they it doesn't just destroy them. It does give them back to you as extras. Okay, let's see what we get here. Okay. Physical fire is not worth it. Chance to ignite. Chance to ignite is worth something. The damage? Oh, uh, so nice that they just give you back the extras and making it stupid. 
Boost Ignite Duration? Oh. Damage, Fire... Uh. Nope. This is what we ended up with over here. None of those have any value for it. Put those back in. So it seems like the, for the vast majority of it, you either get things that have the same name. So like these, there's a Catava one here. There's actually a few Catavas. And one of the things that we got back was a Catava blue version. Or you get something the same color, which is mainly what we got here. Okay, so that is... That is worth knowing. Okay, so that is about 27 C. Yes, about... Well, about 39. And these are worth like about 4C. Bring it so it's 12, so 41, 51. So I lost about 100 and 170 C. Okay. That sucks, but like, it's not that big a deal. I will have to sell it separately. I noticed the ones that were really, really valuable were green all the time. Actually, let's look at the colors that are most valuable. Now that we kind of have an idea how this works. Okay. Let's check Pewee Ninja quickly. Doing all my others. Uh, okay, yeah. A lot of the more valuable ones are green or their journey tattoos, which I assume I can't just randomly get. There's one valuable red, and that's the ignite one. And then it's mostly just blue greens, mainly green. Because suppress spell damage and mark effect are the ones that are the main value ones. Okay. So, now that I'm aware of that, are there any really, really shitty green ones that I can pull up from the trade site now? That is what I'm going to do. I am going Look at just the green ones specifically. Scout. Moon Warden. Scout. Scout. Bigfoot. Shaman. Naturalist. Scout. Okay, what of those are the ones that are actually valuable? So the Shaman and the... Fallow Scout and the Ramako Shaman are valuable ones. I'm going to remove those from the list. The things are, because I'm not going to get those cheap. Darn, too many want items. Uh, okay. Ramako, Fleetfoot, and... Oh, uh... Herbalist. Valuable. Okay, take those off. And Sallow Warrior. That's nine things in my search. Do that? Yes, I can. Okay, so I'm going to check for things that have stock 5 plus.
Okay, so there's a lot of 1C. Okay. Stock of 9 plus. Okay, so we are going to go pick up some green ones now. Thing is, we actually have a better concept of what uh, what we're looking for. We're going to pick up some green tattoos, and we're going to see if we can make something cool out of it. Based on the ones that are valuable, it would probably be best for us to pick Ramico or Cialo, Cialo ones. Oh, okay. So Toa is less valuable to me then. What was the ones I just said? Ramico and... Dallo. I don't know how to pronounce that properly, I'll be honest. I was guessing. Okay. That one's 29 of them. I like being able to go for the bigger one. Oh, that was a uh, Toa. That wasn't as. That's not going to be as valuable to me. Darn. That'll be okay. Not everything has to be Ramak. Huh? Oh, I asked them for more accidentally. Okay. didn't realize that they were going to have the the other thing up too how many money okay let's see if we can make our money back this time Last time we got about 60 C back. Okay, so we skipping skipping what we spent last time. We just bought 101C. Worth of tattoos. Okay. And now that we're no. Oh. Label is returned. Okay. Now we are going to try gambling. Do I have any Ramico? Or... I should check and see if I've. 
I should have green one. I have a few. Not very many. Five C. That one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. One hundred and one C investment. One hundred and one chaos investment. Let's see. Right there. Okay, suppress spell damage. These are worth 40 apiece. So this is ADC right there. Okay, so these ones skipped from Toa... From a green Toa into a blue Toa. That's fine. And Fleetfoot is the other another expensive one. Those are 5 C apiece, so that brings us up to 95 apiece. 95 total. And then it's Sallow Scout. That is the valuable. Oh, a scout. Nope. Okay. Very re rolling then. Okay, so we're up to 120. In, in the suppression one, 140 include the, being the fleet foot. Hello, Scout. Ebony. Keep throwing me off with a Toa Scout. Nope. I think any of these are viable. Um. Oh, the shamans are valuable. I didn't notice that. Uh, nope. Those are four C apiece. Yeah, actually, we just got a pretty good ROI. Uh, return on investment. Don't know what that means. Okay, so we brought home 120C just on the Shaman ones. And then 5C apiece on the movement speed ones. And let's say 5C apiece on the other one. So that's about 30 plus 120. That means our return has been 150C. Okay, cool. So we just made 50C. Nope. Okay. Oh, so, I think I should just use them as Actually, I could probably do 44, seeing as I have three of them together. Should make people a bit more excited. This one, I can do 19, see four of them. 5C and 5C. What was that? Oh, I have POE exchange open in the background. I'm, I'm seeing some things pop up that are unexpected. Okay, let's clear our our amounts again. So what we're looking for is honestly mainly Ramako. A little bit of Sallow. Okay, so let's focus on just Ramako ones specifically. I'll take out all the Toa. Not as viable. I got the wrong geeks viable. Yeah. 
Okay, I'll take the sallow one. Sallow? I don't know how to pronounce it. Lightest. I'm gonna grab, uh... I'm gonna grab the sallow shaman. Shaman one, because that one... I mean, it's a blue, but it is one of the ones that I think I would be going for. Oh yeah, here. Here's an 80. So let's gamble another 80. They gamble, but I'm act I'm pretty confident. It's a fair. It's a. It's a somewhat safe gamble. It looks like, but I mean, we'll see. Let's see what we can do with it. I think I probably have a sallow. Sallow some. Same deal. 81C investment. Okay, so if we get... What are the options here? If we get... Three scouts, we break even. This actually is a worse bet than going for Ramico. I should have gone for Ramico. Oh, we got two of them. Okay, this I should be able to pretty reliably get either 24 or 29 a piece. So that's already going to be pretty decent. Where did this turn? Oh, it's because. Okay, cause it's another sallow one. That color. Okay, blind. Do we have Okay. Do we can get with the third scout? Okay, so we've broken even. Roughly. Wait, no. That's not how math works at all. Yes, that's not at all how math works. <laughs> Stun, hinder, blind. Guild buff. Okay, so we have lost a bit of money. I think... Okay. My brain is struggling really badly with this. If we can get 25c return on investment on these, then it's pretty safe to call that 75c return, I think. So we failed to break we failed slightly to break even. Wait, the blind ones are actually worse. Oh. In that case, we got two blind ones, so that would bring us up to 85. So we made 4C. That's not very much. <laughs> but I mean... I, I think the mistake that I just made here 
was that I went for Sallow instead of going for Ramako. I think that Ramako is the right choice. If I want to focus on Ramako stuff, I will probably do better. Five. Uh, out. I try to get twenty nine from them. Okay, we're going to try to do Ramako tattoos only now. We're not going to touch any of the other ones at all. Okay, there's only four different... Okay, we're going to start seeing change in price. Yep, yep, we're seeing a change in price already on bulk. So there's only one option available for us for 1C now. Oh, and that person's offline. Okay, so I'm going to have to drop my count down. So that was that 14 and above. So to actually get anyone... Little tiny bit higher than that. Where are we at, anyways? I can't. I can't gamble too much more, actually. I'll see what I can do about getting a bunch more Ramico stuff for next stream. That's that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to get more Ramico tattoos this time. So it looks like we lost on our first investment pretty badly because I didn't understand how this worked. I was looking for I was using red tattoos which are strength tattoos, which are just not valuable enough when I should have been using dex tattoos or in tattoos, because we either need to have Ramico tattoos or we need to have green tattoos, because green tattoos can become other green tattoos and Ramico tattoos can be other types of Ramico tattoos. Those are your two options. The green ones are going like purely just green ones, not Ramico is more dangerous because while there's less people who are buy who are who are buying them right now who do have a greater risk of getting something bad because at least if you go for Ramico ones they're all green so you will you are most likely going to get a green tattoo out of it actually no you're guaranteed to get a green tattoo out of it if you do Ramico because Ramico tattoos, because they're all green. There's no Ramicos that are blue or red. And so if it spawns as a Ramico, it will spawn as a green. Or it'll spawn as a Ramico, which is automatically a green. Or it'll spawn as just a random green, which is, well, green. Which can still be rerolled. And if you're lucky, it might end up turning into, like, a Sallow or something. Which is also good if you get a Fleet Foot or a Scout. Okay, so I need to take some time and actually put together a base of items. Uh, looks like Divine Orb is about 122, right? Message. 
not set up right. Either they fucked up or they're a price fixer. They're a price fixer, they won't respond. They fucked up, they also might not respond because they're getting inundated with people. But that's a fair... I do need to convert my my div though. Chaos. That's gonna take a little bit of time, so I'll do that off stream. You don't have to worry about that. Okay, we are going to put the tattoos aside for now. We'll work on that at a different We are going to do now is we're gonna to try to doing something crazy. Uh which blazing fragments are worse. We're gonna try Uber Cirrus because it's worth fucking nothing to to get these. They're worth four C apiece, so I'm fine wasting it. So I want to see how do how do we do against Uber Cirrus? Probably fucking terribly, but I mean I don't care. If we, I mean, if we fail, we fail. I, that doesn't really bother me. Wait, use five of these? Oh! Oh, so I can't just do that? Okay. Okay, I didn't realize you needed five fragments. Oh, fuck. That means that if people are spending a div and a half on these each, that they have to spend seven and a half div just to open one Uber Maven. Fuck. That's pretty awful. Unfortunately, we can't do that. We can also juice some shit up really, really high. That'd be fun. I'm I'm starting to really enjoy the like the benefits of a tier seventeen. Looks like you get a fair bit out of them. I just had an idea, and it immediately left my brain, and I hate that. <laughs> they just hate it when, like, you're like, Oh, I got an idea! We should, uh... Die. <laughs> no. Uh, we should not die. Just thinking. Oh, yes! I have uh, the entirety of a, uh... Uber at Ziri. I'd love to see how this build matches up against Uber at Ziri. I run a quick Uber at Ziri. Happen. This build has never attempted an Uber at Ziri. See what we get. That's not up. Okay, there's like no fucking quant in this app at all, right? Yeah, this 8% quant, yeah, no, I'm not going to. I'm pretty happy. Like, the fact that we managed to knock out Abomination now... Oh, that makes me feel good. The f re the first Abomination map that we tried, not this stream, but like the very, very first one, I got screwed because I did not have, a have any anti-curse. I just... I neglected that part of my build. And now that I do have that, I don't have to worry so much. Like, it's still a really fucking hard fight. I mean, I used, like, 16 portals to in that map. Thanks to, uh... 
thanks to the Scarab of Stability, but, like, oh gosh, it was brutal. Goodbye. Oh gosh, that's a lot. A lot of things in one little area. And also, I'm not trying in any way to clear this. I don't. I don't care enough to clear this because the want is too. The, if I want, if I want to clear something, I will go clear like. 16 at least. Otherwise, I'm just wasting. Okay. So she has Curse Reflection, which is fine. Still damaged by curses, it's just that she can also reflect them to me. Which is not an issue, seeing as I am curse immune. And down. Decoys hold them down, hopefully, to distract them. Um. I kind of expected this fight to be a bit harder than this. Am I just overpowered? <laughs> Am I just overpowered and used to doing content that is ridiculous? So... Now that I'm back doing content that is semi-normal, it feels like nothing. Oh shoot, I should have got this Maven Witness. Pretty sure she's part of uh, the Feared. I don't feel like I'm struggling very much, I gotta say. Okay, yeah. That, that was a fuck around and find out kind of moment. That was absolutely my fault there, because I was like, oh, I'll just, I'll just wait and, uh, uh, don't, don't fucking death loot me. There we go. Okay, I'm back on track. Goodbye. You can see the exact point when I stopped trying as hard <laughs> and started fucking up. <laughs> I fucked up there, but that is okay. A decent vertex. That'd be even better vertex if I got a corruption. Fuck. Now it's probably a less decent vertex. <laughs> Well, you go in there now. Bye. Uh, I'm level 82. Sacrificial or or something. I can grab something on. Eh, not a problem. Okay. Should we finish off our last abomination map? Seeing as that's what we've been doing this entire stream, just working on the abomination maps. Yeah, let's finish it off. And also, let's crank it this time. We'll really crank it up. There's more explicit modifier stuff. Around on this map. I could be taking. Oh, mainly just these, I guess. Don't want to take invasive adversaries. Oh, chance to drop more scares per monster modifier, so that extra rare mods thing was actually doing a really good job for me, I guess. That brings me back to... 
give me a few extra experience. And I'm not going to take invasive adversaries because I hate myself. Or at least not that much. Oh wow, I just noticed that we're at 10 viewers. That's uh that's a lot more than usual. Hi all. Where are you all coming from? Uh for anyone who doesn't know me, I'm Black Cat. I am a very cute little cat trans girl who likes to play lots of Path of Exile content and lots of sandboxes and dungeon crawlers and all that. Mainly Path, definitely some Pal World, definitely some 7 Days. Doing some tier 17s. We just beat tier 17 Abomination for the first time today, and we've already beaten tier 17 Citadel. So, we are going to play another tier 17 Abomination just to uh, finish off the ones that we've bought, and we are going to see how it goes. I did. Okay. Let's add some extra stuff to it. We're going to add Scarab of Stability. Give us some extra portals. Serious Barrels. Sure, let's add some Monster Pack Size. and Let's add even more modifiers to the creatures. <laughs> I'm going to die. Oh, I'm so fucked. Um, this, this probably won't end well, but you know what? It's not about the destination, it's about the journey, which is absolutely a relevant thing to say in this moment. Oh, Quant! Lots of Quant. Lots of Quant. Okay. Lots and lots and lots and lots of Quant. Okay, so I'll put the scarabs there. More scarabs. Also give me more scarabs. And I know I like scarabs. And also... I don't know if I... No, I, sh I should replace those just to be safe. Not do this the stupid way and do this halfway. Because otherwise I will put myself in a lot of danger. That is the last thing that we want right now. What are, the, what are the worst modifiers here? Swap the down. I'll let the warriors get frenzy charges because I'm more scared of... No, actually no. I'm... I'll let them do that and we'll stick with that and see how it goes. Scared. <laughs> okay, tier 17 abomination. This one is going to be a real run for extra currency. See how much money we make. I have to be really careful, because, oh boy, have I ever destroyed myself repeatedly on this, these maps. Oh, so let's just double check. So we have Volatile Barrels, we have Mysterious Barrels, uh, Ant, Poison, Impale, and Blade, that's fine. Also, 473% of their physical damage is as a random element. Players have less AoE. Oh, I have a lot less AoE. Uh, actually, that's not a big deal. Oh my gosh, over 300... We basically have 300 quant and 300 rarity. That is fucking amazing. A lot of monster life, and we aren't affected by curses. Ow. 
Barrels hurt me. What is... What is the first thing that my brain come up with? Uh, I'm just like imagining a large barrel with a smaller barrel. Like, you'll never talk to my... You should never talk to my barrel son or me ever again. Like that meme. Oh, that's a bit of a... bit much. Just be a bit careful. Careful so I don't get the... Oh god, that's a lot. A lot of fucking barrels. A lot of barrels... No! Wow, okay. Okay, so that's how this is gonna be, huh? That's how this is gonna be, huh? I acknowledge that's my fault, but that doesn't mean I'm not frustrated. <laughs> uh... I am going to... Do we get any, like, crazy scarabs? I don't think we... I'm just gonna check this stuff in dash then. Try to put aside the stuff that's, like, actually really valuable. Get kind of an idea how much we're getting. Oh, my... I have such lip dick... Pyroclast minds right. No! They're so tiny! Um, they still hit as hard as they did before, though. So I guess it doesn't matter. They just feel small. I guess it's not about the size, but how you use it. How many mods? Oh, they only have four mods on them. Not like the eight mods we had last time. Cool, the Sallow Scout ones are selling. Good. Three twenty nine for them. Five, so that actually means that we will get, we made a very small profit on them dead. Fair up losing money. Also, I wouldn't necessarily suggest that you do any of the, uh, shit that I, uh, have talked about with, um, with the, the gambling the tattoos. You might want to leave that, that sort of money wasting to me, <laughs> but... I mean, you can if you want. Iramico. Makes me sound like a corporate sponsor for some sort of car company. I write by Ramico. You buy a butthole, buy a large butthole. Okay, I need you to stop shooting me. Having this these piddly ass little AoE things is really annoying. Oh, that comprehensive scouting report was actually valuable. Okay, I know a bit a bit much. Try to Gosh. So many explosions. Stop exploding. Stop exploding on my face.
Ask for consent first. So many, so many freaking scarabs. No! <sighs> Glad those front ones weren't, weren't explosive barrels, because, oh my god, I almost killed myself there. Again! Through entirely using... I like that. Why must this user be so prone to error? That's a bit too many. I'm of Gatosh. Okay. Or tainted currency. Good. Toidal. Oh god. Toidal has lightning. Danger Toidal. Nope. Nope. Toidal has lightning and fire. And crits. Okay. That is more Toidal than I needed. myself up again. Okay, thanks. I should just go and trade with that person before they get too sick of waiting. I just don't like using up portals in tier 17s because I feel like I have so few. Even though I do have the Scarab stability, so you can just lose the coin flip six times in a row and get no bonus. There is that too. Oh, perfect time. So we're at the boss, which means that I can just go into the boss fight and when I inevitably die in the boss fight, I will go trade with them. I don't have to feel bad. Okay. That uh, over there. Try to focus someone first. I have learned not to be near Daodre. I have learned this lesson over and over and over. Learn this lesson over, over, and over, and over, and over. And I still... Do it. Okay, one second. How much money is the twenty nine? Oh, thirty four C. Okay, they already calculated. Thank you. Calculate and make it so that I don't have to back. Okay, so, once again, I have been reminded, don't stand near Dodre. You know, that thing that has never changed and has always been a problem. That thing. Yes, that one. Don't do that. Comprehensive ones are valuable. Oh, so are these. I'm going to put aside anything that's just for the sake of vaguely tabulating. Cool. A bomb. Let's do this. Okay. Don't sit on Dodre. Don't sit on Dodre. <laughs> Dodre's right up there, and I got hit by her again. <laughs> I guess in my defense, I didn't actually see her that time. Ugh. Okay. Oh, everyone shoot over. Oh, God. 
Everyone shoot over there, I think. Sounds like a good plan. I'm going to kill Malagaro. I would love to kill Dodre first, but I don't want to be near Dodre. Oh, stay away from me. As long as I keep moving in, like, some amount of circle, I should be fine. No. 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 No, no, no. Hey, I got way too close to her. Stop snuggling, Dodre. I need to kill you. I don't want to be close to her, because she will murder me. Again, and again. Oh, no. She has murdered me over and over. I don't want it to happen again. Please, stay away from her. Okay. There we go. So now I'm going to kill Dodre. No! Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, we killed one of them. That's the important thing. And use no portals. Okay. But I... I hate... I hate doing this because, like, it's so hard... I can't get close enough to, to Dodre to actually fight her is the problem. <laughs> no. I don't want... To, if I'm beside her, I will get killed by her again. She just kills me every time. No. No, no, no. Stay away from me. Stay away. No. No. Bad god of pestilence, what, or whatever the hell you are. Bad weird, weird thing. No. 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 Ah. My pyroclasts are so impotent. Ow. This is what it's supposed to look like. Not that, not that small, small piddly shit. My gosh, I need to be I need to be more careful. I just need to not stand in every every damaging field that there is. I don't even know what that was. Uh, can the storms go away, or are those just permanent? Okay, no, they're just permanent. Cool, I guess. Ow. That was my face. Looted her goo on my face. I'm disapproving of this. Ow. Ow. No. Ow. Fuck. I... That don't... Don't read messages while you're doing this, cat. Don't do it. You're dooming yourself. Oh my god, I'm struggling so much with this. I'm way too close to them, too. No! Mow. Okay. Oh, I got this. I got this, I got this, I got this. Wait for the thing to go out of the way of the entrance. Not. Or I could just not. Ow. Where are you, Dodre? Where is Dodre? Where is Dodre? There is Dodre. Hi, Dodre. Hi. Nope. 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 Don't explode. Don't explode. Don't explode. Don't explode. Don't explode. Leave me alone. Nope. Don't have the range. Okay, please tell me your your skill is on cooldown. <laughs> tell me your big boom is on cooldown. It's not. It's not on cooldown. Okay. 
I take so much damage just getting into the fucking arena. Hate it. Ah. 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 Go, Drake. Go, Drake. Die. Die. Fucking die. No. Oh, you fucker. Oh, you fucker. Okay, I'm gonna try something. Fuck Phase Run and Frost Shield. Neither of them are really helping me that much. I'm gonna take Culling Strike. And where is it? Culling Strike and Hydrosphere. Because they can... They can pulse things like Chill and stuff out. It will move to where I want it to move. It has a decent range. It will work on its own. And it does just a small enough amount of damage that the Culling Strike will proc if it goes after Dodre. Okay, the next question is, should I just go do the rest of the map? You know what? I'm going to work on the rest of the map just because that might have been my last life. And I'm going to lose all of the benefit of this map if I die boss fight. So I'm going to just take a moment. Problem with Frost Shield that I'm encountering is that I don't have a high enough energy shield to really make use of it. I need, I like, I legit need a like level one Frost Shield to use, and just call that that, and that would actually be useful to me to some extent. But then again, when it's level 1, it's barely going to give me anything. For defenses. Not that it's giving me much right now, but like... Uh, just, it's not very much when you have so little ES. And I used to have a bunch that would pop up suddenly because of Headhunter. Where like, you'd like, just steal an aura. Like a discipline aura, and like, oh, it's fine. Uh But that's kind of not a thing anymore now that I'm not doing that. Ow. Hit me. Don't hit me, bro. That might have just been the last portal. Okay. Okay, there's still one more. <laughs> I was so worried for a second. Worth anything? Worth anything. Turtle is worse. None of those are worth The own amelioration might be. Yeah, Omen Amelioration is half a div. Turn Min Stop. When we're done with uh, this map, we will open our voids before the stream ends. And if I forget, yell at me. This guy is awful. I'm going to... Oh. I'm going to ignore my decoy totem. Huh? Oh, please stop ignoring my decoy totem. Oh my god. Damn, that was the last portal. 
Oh, you absolute and complete butt face. Your face is a butt, and you know it. You know your face is a butt. Okay, I'm good. Okay, so that's 60C. These are 15C apiece. So that's 90C. The comprehensive scouting reports are really weird. Their pricing. They are somewhere between 10 and 40C, so I don't know. I'm going to say 10C apiece, so that brings up to 110, 112. And then our miscellaneous stuff, let's say 130. Okay, so we got about a div from that map. That's actually not that bad. That is actually not that bad. I should sell my comprehensive rather than use it. Okay, I don't I don't actually know how much they're worth, but I'm going to try 39s. See what happens. That I might not work. Probably won't work. I mean, why not? Hey, we have a bunch of voids. Wants to get a mirror. Totally gonna get a mirror. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Let's gamble the voids. I, I mean... They almost never turn out to be anything. Sire yeah, shards. Uh, punishing. Oh, that's the uh, tier fifteen punishing map. Uh, Evolve orb. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. And oh, immortal hope. Oh, that's fifteen C. That actually is totally worth something. Nice. A right, bunch of them, apparently. Hey, Pyro. Were you here to see uh, me do Uber at Ziri? It was a very easy fight until I stopped pay stopped caring, and then it was a hard fight. <laughs> it's almost like you should actually pay attention. Almost like you should actually fucking pay attention. <laughs> oh, because I wasn't paying attention, and then I died. And I died, and it was sad. Yeah. I don't- I probably won't clip it, so you'll probably have to check it in the VOD. Definitely. Oh. I feel good, though. We, uh... We didn't complete two of the abominate two of the three Abomination maps, but we did successfully complete an Abomination map now. So, we... I'll bring up my to-do list again. So, we have beaten Abomination and Citadel now, leaving Fortress, Sanctuary, and Ziggurat. One of these is really expensive. This one's 90 CFPs. Yeah, it's, uh, Fortress is expensive. Sanctuary is about 50, and is about 60. Okay. Citadel valuable? I think Abomination... Abomination? Abomin 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 abomination? I can't do the Porky Pig thing. I bet, I bet. No, I no, I can't. I'm not gonna even try. Okay. Well, I'll see if I can get some more Ramico tattoos for next time, and see if I can actually make us some money. That'd be nice. I mean. It, that's, that's the thing when you're when you're testing things is it's not always going to make you money. Sometimes you will just lose a ton of money and it'll be sad, and that's what happened this time. And that's okay. It happens. But we will try again. And honestly, we learned a lot of very important shit from that. Because I mean, I didn't realize before that tattoos when you turn three of them in, only give you one of either the same clan, 
So like the first name or give you of this one of the same color. Like that's actually that's very important information. So knowing that I can turn in Ramico stuff specifically or or Ramico stuff uh does help a lot because there's two valuable Ramico ones. Oh, I just checked to see how much they were if you buy them by Divine. They're so much more expensive if you buy them by Divine. If you're going to buy tattoos, you can buy them in Divine. Otherwise, it costs too much money. And it is on. Yeah, I'll have to go through and buy a bunch. That'll take some time, and I'm not going to do that on stream. I don't want that to pick up too much. Anyways. So currently on the YouTube channel, there is a poll going on about whether people want to have... Whether you like my stream times as they are now, 30 minutes later or an hour later. I'm considering making it a bit later, and I kind of want to know what people would think. So if it would benefit you to uh, have my streams be later, I would suggest that you vote on that because I will probably pay attention. I mean, I'll definitely pay attention. I don't ultimately I'll make the decision myself based on my schedule, but I probably will go with that. I probably will make it later just because it looks like later is better at the moment. Actually, second, interesting just popped up. Okay, so we just, we actually just like mid this stream, we got an announcement for PoE actually. The uh, timeline has been announced for 3, 325, the League After Necropolis. Late July, we will be seeing the new League, which means mid July, this League will end. Which means we're about halfway through the league now. A lot of people probably are gone by this point, because I know most people play during the first, like, three weeks. Yeah. Maybe. That would be a pretty awesome birthday week. Yeah, so... Probably end of June, uh, Seven Days to Die, the 1.0 is going to be coming out, and I'm going to be playing that on stream, is my intention. I still intend to do Path of Exile content. Path of Exile is not going to go anywhere, it never will, because it is my bread and butter. But late June is when it's being released sometime, so probably July... Probably, like, for, like, three-ish weeks in July, I'm going to be streaming Seven Days to Die. And then we're going to transition to the new league. That'll be our, like, mid, uh, like, our league transition game, probably. Even though a lot of people, there isn't a lot of hype for Seven Days to Die. It is an extremely good game, though. And they've been putting a lot of work into it. And honestly... Just an awesome sandbox game with, like, some cool dungeons and, like, really nice-feeling combat. It's really, it's really enjoyable. And their difficulty, the difficulties in the game are also really, really fun. There's a lot, plus there's a lot of cool, um, cool settings you can change in, like, your single-player world. Or even in your multiplayer world. Where you can just basically change the game as much as you want. Awesome. Very, very cool game going to be amazing when it releases because they're also releasing a big patch with it. So I'm excited. Very, very excited. Ooh. Man, I keep... Uh, I keep thinking of the Union of Souls 
abomination map we did first, where, like, everything was giant. And... <laughs> everything was giant in that map, because everything was Union of Souls. So, like, one, one of their pack dies, the others gain, gain more power. And basically, since all of them, like, every monster in the map was linked, uh, all of, like, the white and blue creatures, uh, just, they hit the maximum stacks very quickly, so we just had these towering giants walking around. Very slow, but very cool looking. I'll probably put some clips out from that, because, like, it was actually really cool to look at. Even if, uh... Even if it was, like, really slow, the actual map going through. That map genuinely might have taken me 45 minutes. Anyways. This VOD will be going up, uh, ideally, on the VOD channel tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow morning, hopefully. I have a, another video coming out tomorrow. It uh, is our attempt at the Sanctuary map from two streams ago, and how that went. I'm pretty pretty happy with that video. On Monday, we put out the um, Shaper Touch the Ziggurat map. That was an extremely, extremely funny video. I mean, I don't know if other people will find it funny, but honestly, I was laughing at my own responses when I was editing it, so... I'd highly suggest you check it out, because it hasn't really gotten much traction yet, and honestly, I I really like I really like the way it turned out. I think it's a really good video, a really funny watch, so. I really hope that it actually gets some traction, because I'd really like other people to have the chance to see it too, and not have it die on uh, not having a good enough thumbnail or whatever. Uh, I'll have another thing coming out on... Friday on Black at Black Cat Studio, VOD tomorrow on at Black Cat Streams, and I'll be streaming again at Black Cat Studio on Twitch on Thursday, my usual time, as I stream Tuesday, Thursday at 2 p.m. PST, 5 p.m. PST. I might be making the streams later. If I do, I will announce it on Twitter. Or no, Twitter. I don't have a Twitter. I should have a Twitter, but I don't. Uh... I'll announce it on Discord, and I will announce it on YouTube. And I don't think there's any way to announce things on Twitch. Yeah, okay, there's no way to announce things on Twitch, I don't think. So we'll just have to hope that that works out. I'll only be moving a little bit later, so it's not, like, that big a deal. Anyways, uh, it won't be this week if I do it, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. Thank you all so much for watching. For everyone that is bit that is here and has been here, and I know there's been a lot of you here, because I know we had ten concurrent viewers at one point. Thank you. I appreciate all of you coming here, and I appreciate the fact that you enjoy the content and uh, have some fun with it. Because I have a lot of fun doing this content, and before this league ends, I want to go through and do all of these maps. I want to get all of these done. Want to be able to say that I have completed Sanctuary, Fortress, and Ziggurat as well. I beat all Tier 17s that are not non volga maps, and to go with that. I would like that to be my end of the league thing. My end of the league goal. And I want to also intersperse some more Volos puzzle box maps in with those as well. Too. So, those would be what I'll be focusing on the most. I don't know if there's going to be a huge amount more that I'm going to be going for. This this build has gotten a lot of what it already needs. So a lot of it will be currency farming so that I can get enough divine to buy uh, XP services, basically. And just so I can get to 100, because I'm at 98 right now. I would really like to get to 100. There's no fucking way I'm going to get to 100. I'll just... Doing any of the shit that I'm doing. It's not going to happen naturally, so I need to... 
I need to force it through a uh, service, because that's the, basically the only way I will hit 100. I wish I could say that I was skilled enough to hit 100 on my own, but I, also, I hit 96 this league on my own, and I am very, very, very proud of that, because that's the highest I've ever hit without any sort of uh, external XP service, so I'm very proud of myself for that. Anyways, we've, the stream's already been going for four hours, so it's, it's time to call it. I should go and get some food, and I'm sure the pups are ready to go out to pee. Probably want some snuggles. Yeah. Okay. Thank you all so much for coming. I appreciate you very, very much, and I really hope to see you on Thursday, and the next Tuesday, and the next Thursday. I just really want to see you all in general. It's always really nice to see your your messages in chat and stuff. And also just to see that you're here, just via the stream account number. Welcome. I am glad to help. I hope everyone has an amazing night. And I will see you on Thursday. <laughs>